Okay, before I start today's MU Deck and Nintendo Wii U setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified of every setup guide I release, which is almost every day, if not several times a day, and it really helps out my channel a lot too. So we're looking at setting up CMU today, and obviously this is a Nintendo Wii U emulator for MU Deck. So the first thing we need to do is actually download CMU itself. So we're going to open up MU Deck. Okay, so first thing we need to do is just download it. So we're going to go to Manage Emulators, and if we just scroll downwards, we're going to find CMU just here. If you just left click on there and then go to Install, just let this install. Okay, once that's been installed, we can now go to close, and what we're going to do is just close down out of MU Deck. Next thing we're going to do is take a look at the game folders that we're going to need. So I've got Yoshi's Woolly World just here, and this is the structure of your Wii U games. This one's going to work perfectly. So if we go inside the code, the main file that we need for this is .rpx, but everything within this folder is needed. So what we're going to do then is navigate to the ROMs folder. So I'm going to right click on ESDE, open file location, and I've generated a ROMs folder here, which is from the other day when I did a full setup guide for MU Deck. And in here, we're going to find Wii U. Here's Wii U. And from here, what we're going to do is just drag and drop Yoshi's Woolly World inside. If we actually open up the system info.txt, it will actually tell you just here file extensions supported so right just here we can see .rpx which is obviously the main file like I was just saying so we're going to close out of here and before we actually open up emulation station what we can actually do is configure the emulator itself so we're going to right click on ESD again open file location if we then go into emulators you should now see a CMU folder as we just download and install this using MU Deck. From here, we're going to go to semu.exe. Now, there's nothing here, and that's fine. But whilst we're here, we can actually add the games into this. So we can play CMU as a standalone outside of MU Deck as well as Emulation Station. So just here, I'm going to go to File and install game title and I'm going to then navigate to where my Wii U game is. Just going to select my game here and we're going to let that install automatically. Okay, so once that's been installed, we should technically be able to open this up now directly from CMU. Just double left click. Okay, cool. So as we can see, Yoshi's Woolly World works just fine. But again, before we actually open this up in the emulation station, we can actually download enhancements packs in CMU. So if we open it up again, this time we're going to go up to Options, Graphics Packs, and from here we're going to go down to Download Latest Community Graphics Packs. And here we go. So it's going to scan for the games that we've got installed through CMU. Here's Yoshi's Woolly World. If I just drop this down, I can now use graphic enhancements. If I just check resolution, active preset is a default of 720p. I can actually take this up to 4K if I really wanted to. If you've got a lower end computer, then be very modest with your resolution. I'm going to check out 1080p. And we also got a shadow resolution as well as mods we can apply. For example, under mods for this particular game, we got a 60 FPS world map mod. And that's about it. So very good stuff there. Now, if you've got any updates or DLC for your games, it's just literally a case of go to the file, install game title, update or DLC. And then you can select your DLC or updates just there. And that will install just like the game itself. Now we also got options we can look at so we can go down to general settings and from here if we go to the graphics if you find you're not getting a complete screen or your screen is flicky or a black screen then go to graphics api and change it to OpenGL. for me vulcan is working fine also under graphics device if you've got a graphics card which i hope you have if you're trying to emulate wii u make sure your graphics card is selected just here under vsync 
go for triple buffering or double buffering. V-Sync is going to eliminate Screen Tear. We also got some filters just there. Bilinear is already on by default. So many options just there. And I'm going to keep aspect ratio to as it is. If I put this on the stretch, games aren't going to look too good in some cases. Now, if we go back to options again, we got input settings too. So what I'm going to do just here is use Wii U Pro Controller as default because this works just by with Yoshi's Woolly World. If you've got a different type of Wii U game you want to emulate, then you might consider using Wii U Gamepad in mapping that out. So like I say, I'm going to go for Wii U Pro Controller. Everything's already automatically configured to my Xbox controller, but I can actually map it out however I want to. So that's the way to do that. And I also recommend going to profile and saving your mapping configuration in case anything gets lost. So if I then go into emulation station. So here is Wii U complete with Splatoon and here is my game. So what I'm going to do is just grab some artwork for this. So press start to get into main menu, scraper, Scrape these systems, I obviously need to check Wii U and go to back. And under content settings, I'm going to just make sure everything's selected there for different types of artwork and just go to start. And as we can see, I've now got Yoshi's Woolly World complete with a preview video. So let's actually test this out if this works with CMU. Now, should you need to get into the options whilst you're in game, if I just use my cursor, I can actually go up to File, Options, for different types of things such as separate game pads view, and here we go. So, once we're playing a game, we have got the option to choose different controller options there. And that's it for today's MU Deck in Wii U setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like. Also, check out my MU Deck for Windows playlist. I've covered several systems at this point. And also, don't forget to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.